What is going on guys, Tim here, welcome to the 82 rated first in form Lucas Digne player review. First of all, if I'm getting his name wrong, I do apologise. I'm saying it like I would say, like, Insigne, like, Digne. I just, it sounds better than Digny. It just sounds stupid. Either way, if that's your name, I do apologise. I know he's an avid viewer of the channel. So, a left wing back, as he comes out of packs, of course, not many formations uh, su support the left wing back uh, position. So, we're just going to play him as a standard left back today. Very, very well-rounded, considering he is an 82-rated um, card. He has... Decent passing, he's got decent shot power, very good defending for the card, uh, decent physicals, and decent dribbling to boot as well. Uh, no standout stat necessarily, though, no stat that you'd look at and go, well, he, his strength is, you know, he's got 85 short passing, which is nice, his ball control is 83, that's decent, his um, stand tackle is 82, slide is 86, it's a, a very well-rounded card, it kind of reminds me of Leighton Baines to a certain degree, uh, back when um, Leighton Baines had good cards in FIFA, very... Uh, what should I say? Inform looking team there. I mean, I, I decided just to build a full back line of Team of the Week 16 informs. And I tell you what, we've, we did Walker Peters on Wednesday, the day that card came out. I thought, you know what, I'm going to review it straight away because I actually enjoyed myself. The entire back line is a lot of fun. And you may see the other two, the two centre backs, Bamber and Bolly. May see two of those over the next two days. Uh, I might do them sort of short like this one though. And like I said in the last review, the Walker Peters, and I haven't really kept my uh, my word until now. I was planning on sort of doing those type of of informs, you know the the high 70s, low 80s informs that I wouldn't normally review. I might just throw together a five six minute review while I'm using them to review other players. Do you know what I mean? So I I built this team around Gomez and Ilicic. Uh, but I'm actually taking a look at the defence as well. So, with that being said, the, the positives and negatives of the card have just popped up on the left-hand side there. We'll go into more detail in a second. Of course, we'll talk about cam styles within this video as well. The footage in the background, by the way, is of me playing with the team with the defence. Um, and, of course, Digne is in there. He won't necessarily be involved in every single clip, but uh, he will... Um, he will pop up and, and sort of get involved now and again. You'll get to see what he's all about and how the defence cope with certain situations. He's very well-rounded, as I said at the beginning. His stand tackle is probably one of his better um, attributes. His block tackling, really, more than a, sort of a stand tackle. You know, when you go in and you just sort of put your foot in to trap the ball against the attacker so that they can't really go anywhere. He does have relatively quick feet as well for someone who's an E82 rated and a left back, as you can see there, doing a little... Um, skill move to uh, to sort of beat the attacker, which I wasn't expecting to pull off whatsoever. But all in all, to be fair to him, he's not a bad card. You know, you look at it, you think, if you pack down a Team of the Week pack that you've saved from last week, you'd be disappointed. But, I mean, okay, granted, you can get some pretty high-rated players, and I would probably be disappointed as well. But there is a place for this in particular. If you are an Everton fan, by the way, you've got a good left-back in your team. Uh, this, this card with an anchor chem style actually turns into a very good player and I'll show you that in a second uh, but the the agility the composure and there's just lack that lack of standout stat really does frustrate me you know he's well rounded sure but he's he's sort of good at things but he's not great at, at any one particular thing so most defenders will be really good at say for instance defending or maybe uh, attacking you know a certain attribute sort of like crossing or, or ball control dribbling that kind of thing but Dinier sort of just has an awful lot in his locker but nothing too specific so on screen you're seeing what it looks like with an anchor chem style we go up to 96 slide tackle 92 stand the rest of the defensive stats go above 80 um, the pace and acceleration, not that it really needs that much of a boost, but you do get one. And of course, strength now is at 77, jumping's at 87, so he's much more of a threat in the air than what he was before. And 89 aggression, which is a very underrated stat, and now that goes up to 89. You can give him a shadow. Um, with a, an anchor, he goes from uh, an 81 rated points per position left back to an 86 rated left back. If you give him a shadow, he's actually going up to an 87 rated. However, I, uh, I prefer the boost of the physicals myself to not having that over the extra pace, which I don't really think you need. So, bear in mind, we are in the 84 and under category, so he's not competing against the Alexandros of this world or 
David Alaba or anything like that, and I'm going to give him an 81. I think it's a decent card. Definitely a card that if you're an Everton fan, you're going to want to pick up, and definitely a card that if you're in the game to have fun rather than compete, then it could be usable. And if you're on a budget as well, because he's not that expensive, let's be honest, if you, I mean, he's 15,000 coins, 13 if you're on PlayStation, but if you are looking to build a budget team that has... Uh, a sort of a value look to it. You know those sort of all-informed sides that you can build for about um, like 120k or something? Uh, but they look expensive, but then when you really break it down, it's 120k, but it's full inform. Uh, I reckon that the uh, the Everton fans, maybe some French fans and just fans of, of Dinier in general, will want to pick this up. Competitive-wise, obviously not. But, um, you know, there we go. Let me know what you think of the card in the comments section down below. If you have enjoyed the review, smack the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Until the next time, goodbye.